What's up you guys, Orlando here with Leisha Records Studio, another video for today. And we're gonna be talking about sound selection today on the video. Let's do it. And remember, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing, you know the drill, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell, so you don't miss any other video from us. Let's start by saying this. Um, I spend quite a lot of time going through my VST instruments and actually uh, selecting uh, my favorite sounds from all the sounds that comes with each VST. That's part of my workflow, and that's something I wanted to show you um, today in the video today, because it's something that you should do or at least incorporate into your workflow as a music producer. So the way to do it is simple. For example, I have here uh, this uh, VST, it's called Vital. Vital is um, an amazing synth uh, plugin and it's actually uh, free, which is <laughs> even more crazy because it's really good. They have a paid version, of course, because it has uh, more presets, but the main thing, the main engine, it's free and you get like 70 something presets with it, uh, which is not bad at all. And of course, the, the main point for this is uh, you can create your own sounds. And it's what I did, for example, with this one. And this is actually a sound that I created for a tutorial. Um, I'm gonna leave the link around here. For example, that sound, in other sounds, you can actually select it here. If you click here, you're gonna see all the sounds um, that comes with Vital already. And uh, here I wanted to show you something. Um, most of these VST has an option to select your favorites. That is what I do and what I wanna show you guys um, because you need to spend time with your VST. You need to know what you're working with. And that's my key point today. For example, this one I created, I name it. Um, it's uh, the name of my studio as you can see here, but there's another sound. For example, that sound, when I'm thinking about the music I'm creating, I need to focus on what I'm gonna use that for. So in this case, I don't have it as a favorite. So for example, this sound has something cool that I think I can use on my uh, future production. So I just favored that. For example, that pad also um, sounds pretty good. So I put it on my favorites. The other thing I tried to check is the mod wheel here. For example, this sound. That's something that I'm looking for also when I'm uh, selecting sounds for uh, future projects as well. So I'm selecting functionality and at the end of the day if you click on the star you can see all the sounds i've selected because i went all the way through and um, pick uh, only the best the things that i'm gonna use that one is pretty cool for example that one is pretty cool because i know i can use that for a bunch of things like lighting stuff That one sounds amazing as well. And as you can see, you can select all those sounds and have it on your favorite. So next time you load the plugin, you know the sounds that you're gonna use, the sounds that you already like. And that's gonna save you so much more time in the studio when creating music. And that's the tip for today. You might have a lot of PSTs and a lot of instruments, but 
at least dedicate 30 minutes going through all your VSTs and selecting all the sounds that you really, really like and um, uh, save them. The worst thing that can happen is that you don't have a specific sound because you don't even know that you have it. You end up buying some other crazy VST that has something similar to what you want. The main key point that I want to make today, know your VST, know your sounds. That's the smartest thing that you can do and it's going to save you time in the studio. So it's a simple tip, but please do it. Select your sounds carefully and with intention. And that's all for the video today, guys. Until next one, don't stress, do your best, be blessed, forget the rest. See you in the next tutorial.